In this project, a tank mixer is modeled and the effect of its rotating impeller on the mixing procedure is investigated. The simulation is done using the VOF model for the three phases of air, water, and salt. The K epsilon model is applied for solving the turbulence flow inside the tank and also the MRF model is used to model the rotation of the impeller that we will mention about them at following. The geometry of this project includes a tank and mixer consisting of a rod and an impeller. The geometry is designed in, an, in the ANSYS design modeler and meshed by ANSYS meshing. The mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured. The volume of fluid or VOF model is used for multi-phase flow in which the boundary or contact are between two different phases is clearly defined. In fact, in this multi-phase model, the different phases do not mix. Free surface, laminar flows, jet uh, phenomena and movement of large bubbles into the liquid, pool boiling, fluid fall like a waterfall, spillways and so on are some examples of using the VOF model. Setting under relaxation factors, we should say that the pressure-based solver uses under relaxation of equations to control the update of computed variables at each iteration. In ANSYS Fluent, the default under relaxation parameters for all variables are set to values that are near optimal for the largest possible number of cases. These values are suitable for many problems, but for some particularly nonlinear problems, uh, for example, some turbulent flows or high Rayleigh number, natural convection problems, it is prudent to reduce the under relaxation factors initially. It is good practice to begin a calculation using the default under relaxation factors if the residuals continue to increase after the first four or five iterations, you should reduce the under relaxation factors. Occasionally, you may make changes in the under relaxation factors and resume your calculation only to find that the residuals begin to increase. This often results from increasing the under relaxation factors too much. A cautious approach is to save a data file before making any change to the under relaxation factors and uh, to give the solution algorithm a few iterations to adjust to the new parameters. Typically, an increase in the under relaxation factors bring about a slight increase in the residuals, but these increases usually disappear as the solution progresses. If the residuals jumped by a few orders of magnitude, you should consider halting the calculation and returning to the last good data file saved. From the contour section in the graphic of the results, we can display every desired two-dimensional contour on the plane that we have been in the, uh, identified before that is X content at the middle of the mixer tank. The applied settings are recapitulated in the following tables as a review. Obtain the mesh file and the full training movie via this link. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info mrcfd.com